Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to episode 42 of my Species Profile series. Today we are going to look at the Neon Tetra, so please stay tuned. This is my 10 gallon aquarium that is home to my beta sorority. It resides in my little fish room. In this aquarium, there are also two female guppies, a bristlenose pleco, and of course, my five beautiful neon tetras. The neon tetra is probably the most common tropical fish in the fish keeping hobby. It is one of the longest collected fish being the first caught in 1930, regardless of the fact that this fish has been in the hobby for over 80 years. Its popularity continues to thrive amongst hobbyists. The Neon Tetra is a freshwater fish originating in South America, found both in clear and black waters in Colombia, Peru, and Brazil, and this Species belongs to the Karasin family. They are highly desired as they have such striking coloration giving a visual boost to any peaceful community aquarium. The neon has a stunning light blue back with a white belly. Its iridescent blue horizontal stripe running down each side from nose to just past the dorsal fin is then complemented by a thicker red stripe that begins at the dorsal fin and ends at the caudal fin. Their fins are transparent, making their delightful coloration stand out even more. It's interesting to note at night, as these little fish rest, their blue and reds turn black and gray. Their colors will reactivate as they begin to wake up and move about the tank. The neon tetra is a small fish reaching no more than an inch and a half. It's important that they not be homed with anything big enough to eat them. Unfortunately, I learned that the hard way. Sexing these little guys is not too difficult. The females will be a little larger and thicker through the middle with a curved iridescent stripe while the male stripe remains straight. In recent years, the neons have been developed into a long fin variety. They are very difficult to breed in a home aquarium setting. In fact, there are very few commercial breeders in North America, some just breeding experimentally. They are primarily imported from Hong Kong, Singapore, and Thailand, and only 5% of the neons available today are still being caught in the wild. With good water conditions and proper maintenance, these beautiful little fish can live between 5 and 8 years, some have been known even to reach 10 years but five to eight years is more the norm. They can be homed in an aquarium as small as five gallons, but a 10 gallon aquarium is much preferred. This is a schooling fish and should be kept in groups of no less than six to give your aquarium that amazing shoaling effect. Your colors are more brightly displayed when they are happier in a large group. If kept alone, their colors will diminish as they will feel under stress. Their preferred habitat is a densely planted tank with lower lighting. Neon tetras are omnivores and will accept micro pellets or crushed flaked food. Supplementing their diet with bug bites, brine shrimp, freeze dried blood worms, and other similar foods will meet all of their nutritional needs. The neon tetra is one of the smallest aquarium fish, yet one of the most beautiful. When schooling, they are truly a sight to see and a real boost to any calm community aquarium. So until next time, this is Beth Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.